We are back with another day of the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 Countdown videos, and number 72 in the country, we have the Washington Huskies. What's up, college basketball fans? I'm Hoop Scoop Media co founder Austin Getchy, and welcome to the Hoop Scoop Media Top 100 College Basketball Teams Countdown. In this series, we'll be counting down our top 100 teams for next season and releasing a video every day until the college basketball season begins. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and give our social medias a follow. Simple things like that help more college basketball fans like you enjoy our content. With that being said, enjoy the rest of the video and 99 other videos in this series. Washington has been a team that has disappointed with the talent they've had recently. Despite starting his Washington career off decent, Mike Hopkins has really struggled recently, finishing outside the top 100 in Ken Pond in the past three years. Going into the season, he's a hot sheet name to watch, but perhaps he has a talent this year to sneak up in the rankings and potentially save his job. However, Washington lost some significant contributors from last season. Star freshman Keon Manyfield transferred to Arkansas, Cole Bajama transferred to Utah, Jamal Bay exhausted his eligibility, PJ Fuller transferred to Detroit Mercy, and Noah Williams entered the transfer portal. Losing those players, Mike Hopkins obviously had some work to do in the portal, but more importantly, he was able to keep Keon Brooks Jr. at Washington. Brooks was a former Kentucky player and the leading scorer on the Huskies last year, averaging 17.7 points per game. He was also named to the Pac-12 All-Conference team and should look to get there again as the team's featured option. Washington also returns big man Braxton Mia, who had one of the bigger breakout seasons in college basketball last year. Mia went from a seldom used rotation big at Fresno State to an elite defensive big at Washington, being named to the Pac-12 All-Defense team. He was extremely efficient inside, connecting in over 70% of his shots. Hopkins also got a commitment from Portland transfer Moses Wood, who was a member of the WCC All-Conference team. Wood is a very efficient scorer. In conference play, he shot over 45% from three-point range at high volume and shot 60% from inside the arc. Wood and Brooks should be one of the best scoring frontcourts in the conference. The Huskies also got a few point guard options that have been solid high major starters. One of them is Kentucky transfer Severe Wheeler, who is reuniting with Brooks. He missed lots of this year with an injury, but when healthy is a high-level passer. Despite having more turnovers than you'd like, he has had over a 30% assist rate every year of college. He's somewhat limited in offense, but it might work out because of the weapons he has around him to pass it to. Another point guard they got is Rutgers transfer Paul Mulcahy. He has some similar abilities to Wheeler, being primarily a pass-first point guard. However, Mulcahy brings a little more to the table, as he's 6'7 and a strong defender. While he's not a big-time scorer, he's able to play off the ball and not be a glaring weakness at times. Washington also brings back big man Frank Kepnang, who was hurt for most of last year. When he's not hurt, he's a very good rebounder and elite rim protector, and a healthy Kepnang gives Washington those abilities at all times. The Huskies also have some shooting guards that could see a big season. Corin Johnson was a freshman last year, and showed some decent scoring abilities. He also showed a little bit of passing and defensive skills, and those should develop over his years. Lamar transfer Nate Calmese comes over after having a huge freshman season. While I'm not sure if he's going to have a huge impact at a high major, he was a decently efficient player at Lamar, and already has proven he isn't afraid to take shots at the college level. Fresno State transfer Anthony Holland also provides him with some shooting off the bench, and is reunited with Mia. Nebraska transfer Wilhelm Breidenbach also transferred into Washington. He struggled for most of his time, but is a former four-star and at times flashed his skills. Washington also has former NBA Academy forward Samuel Ariebe, who hasn't seen too much playing time so far at UW. Hopkins also brings in two freshmen. Wesley Yates is a high four-star shooting guard who could see some decent minutes right away. He's Hopkins' best recruit since he got Isaiah Stewart and Jaden McDaniels in the same class. The other high school recruit Washington is bringing in is local prospect Christian King from Seattle Prep. Overall, this Washington team is definitely intriguing, but I'm not trying to get too excited because of Hopkins' recent track record of doing less with more. However, this is a roster capable of turning that around, and they have a very high ceiling. Overall, I am sitting at 8th in the Pac-12, but they could easily be higher or lower than that. Washington fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments and where you'd personally rank them. We will be back tomorrow for our number 71 team in the country. Subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss it.